Shopping at the airport could get a bit cheaper after one chain said it would give back some of the VAT it claims from customers. Ben is here to explain for all of us. Morning. Morning. Yeah, it might not be on your perfume and jewellery, that sort of thing. Oh, okay. It's more about things like uh, at the news agents, but we'll get into that. Thanks, guys. Uh, morning to you. Yeah. Yes, you know when they ask for your boarding pass at shops at the airport, it's because a firm can claim back the VAT from the taxman if you're travelling outside the European Union. Now, you might remember there was a big row about it when it was first revealed because firms were hanging on to that cash rather than giving it back to us as customers. So this is how it works. Goods that are sold to people travelling outside the EU, they are exempt from VAT. That is currently 20%. So stores can claim back that VAT. So they simply use your boarding pass to work out where you're travelling to and whether the goods that you're buying are eligible to claim that money back. But of course, many stores are still failing to pass on those savings to customers. But remember, by law, you don't actually need to present a boarding pass. You can actually refuse to do so, but you have to present it if you're buying alcohol or tobacco. Well, WH Smiths has now changed its policy and you can now claim back that VAT. Effectively, that translates as a 20% discount in store. But there are some terms and conditions. So to talk us through them, Charlotte Turner's with me. She's managing editor at TR Business. It's a trade magazine for the airport retail sector. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. So there are caveats, first of all. Let's make those clear. Explain mm -hmm. to me how this WH Smith scheme is going to work. Well, basically, the scheme only works for items over £6 or $8. And this basically, what you'll have to do in order to claim back the VAT is to go to a manned tilt. That's an important point to make. If you're going to the automatic uh, where you scan your boarding pass yourself, you will not get the VAT back. So you have to go to a manned tilt. However, WH Smith said they are working on this, on, a, on a, uh, bringing in a system whereby this this process will be, you know, automatic. Uh, but we're not sure uh, when that process will actually come into place at the moment. And you need to ask for the discount as well. It's because many people won't know their rights in the way that they didn't know why retailers wanted the boarding pass in the first place. You're going to have to ask for it at the till. Uh, but what's also interesting is whether others will now follow suit. Do you think this will set a trend? Well, at the moment, of course, no other retailer has come out and said that they will follow suit. However, there is uh, um, the UK Travel Retail Forum is at the moment negotiating a code of conduct with retailers uh, in, in the UK airports by which they'll uh, we're trying to ensure a level playing field across all the retailers in the UK airports so you know this will be the best outcome for everyone involved we believe so at the moment we're not sure but who knows in the next few months this could uh, this could change and bring about changes for the other retailers too. Yeah and the Treasury said that they were going to look into this mm -hmm. you know industry-wide because it was a bit of a scandal at the time when it was revealed that retailers were able to cream off this 20% and keep it for themselves uh, and already we think we pay higher prices at the airport anyway. I mean what have the Treasury said? <coughs> well at the moment again the findings were supposed to be due earlier but now we realise that the, the inquiry findings will probably come in the autumn um, and so there's been some uh, remarks made earlier than perhaps they should have been, uh, but basically, yes, it, it has been has been said that uh, this this practice is is not good. And again, this is why the code of conduct is so important, and it will ensure this level playing field. And just to be clear, when do you have to present your boarding card, and when don't you have to present it? You have to present your boarding card if you want the VAT exemption in, in WH Smith stores. However, Boots have come out and said, obviously, you do not need to present your boarding pass. Uh, you do if you are shopping in World Duty Free, uh, because every transaction requires that you show your boarding pass there. Good stuff. Really good advice. Charlotte, thanks very much. Uh, Charlotte Turner there, the managing editor of TR Business. Uh, and we want your questions. So get in touch with us if you have any questions about how this might work. Uh, let us know all the usual ways, email, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and we'll answer some of your questions at 10 to 9 this morning. So uh, send them in and we'll put those questions to Charlotte a little later.